the Weir equation enable us to calculate diamond weir discharge capacity. Today, in this talk, we are going to review this equation, how to derive it, how to use the weir equation, for example, to estimate the discharge capacity of a diamond weir spillway, but also to stress its limitation. One application is a spillway in operation where we would like to link the volumetric discharge above the spillway crest as a function of the reservoir elevation. Here, photograph of the Paradise Dam in Australia on the 5th of March, 2013, discharging 2,300 cubic meter per second. What is the Weir equation? The Weir equation, with here an expression for a rectangular channel, is an equation linking the volumetric discharge, big Q, as a function of the reservoir elevation on the Weir geometry. How do we derive this equation? The so-called Weir equation is based upon fundamental principles of fluid mechanics on open channel hydraulics. First of all, the equation of conservation of mass, indicating that the volumetric discharge is the velocity time the cross-section area of the flow. The Bernoulli principle applied between the upstream reservoir on the crest with the total energy being the same upstream on at the crest. And we assume critical flow condition at the spillway crest, that is, at the crest, the minimum specific energy occur. How do we use this equation? And for example, we may use this expression for a rectangular channel. First, the Weir equation show that the volumetric discharge is proportional to the breadth of the crest, that is, the transverse length of the crest. When possible, if we need to, in to increase the discharge capacity, we can increase the total breadth of the crest. Secondly, the volumetric discharge is proportional to the head above crest at the power 1.5, that is, it is proportional to the difference between the reservoir elevation on the crest elevation at the power 1.5. Practically, in a constraint location, lowering the speed request, that is reducing that crest, will increase the discharge capacity for a given reservoir elevation. Thirdly, the discharge is proportional to the discharge coefficient, a dimensionless coefficient, equal to unity about, for a broad crested weir, less than one for a sharp crested weir, and greater than one for a rounded crest, such as a noge crest or a circular crest. <clears throat> With an illustration on the right. Practically, the discharge coefficient, CD, is derived from physical modeling or mathematical modeling. We found the right, an example of the irritational flow motion of ideal fluid above a circular crest. Importantly, the Weir equation can only be applied within some very strict assumptions. First, assuming a one-dimensional flow. Second, for an ungated or uncontrolled diamond weir speedway crest. In presence of gates, the calculation of the discharge capacity is very different. Third, we assume that there is no tailwater effect, that is, critical flow condition take place at the crest, and the crest operation is not affected by the downstream flow conditions. Lastly, it applies to ventilated nap, indeed, with unventilated nap, nonlinear instabilities have been observed. In summary, the Weir equation links the volumetric discharge to the upstream reservoir elevation on the Weir geometry. It derives from fundamental principles of fluid mechanics and shows that the discharge capacity of a dam on a Weir is a function of the crest breadth, upstream head above crest and crest shape. Yet, we should never forget that this equation is derived within some very strict assumptions. An example 
of a crest operation here, the broad crest of the Gold Creek Dam Spillway in Australia. Relevant literature, including textbooks and peer review, scientific journals are listed here for interested readers. Further, video movies in this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.